what I have here is a kind of a review sheet for lesson one. Here I'm going to just briefly explain you what you need to be concentrating on. I'm not going to explain the terms, etc., but what you need to concentrate on. First, we have learned the forms of energy, which are six fundamental forms of energy. You should be able to write them. You should be able to understand which form is, goes in or which form comes out of any kind of device. Um, and uh, you should also know the difference between uh, the nuclear energy forms that we use, fission and fusion. I just want to let you know that fission is breaking up of large molecule into two smaller fragments. This is what we use today. Fission is non-renewable. Okay? And the same way fusion is two small nuclei going to a big nucleus. Okay, this is a renewable. The reason it is renewable is it is coming from um, hydrogen isotopes. And hydrogen is there in water and it is in plenty. So we consider this as renewable. However, however, we are not using this fusion today in any significant quantities for any purpose. So that's what I want you to be aware of because there was a lot of discussion on the message board about this part. Electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum, you need to know which wavelengths are typically higher wavelengths than the others, which waves have more energy than... Um, you know, once, for example, radio waves are longer waves than microwaves. Microwaves um, have more energy than radio waves, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, how they are related to wavelength and frequency. Okay? And uh, also, there was some discussion on the message board about um, electromagnetic spectrum. What is the difference between electromagnetic waves and sound? or um, waves that propagate sound. Bo aren't they both waves? Yes, they are both waves, but electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic waves can travel w without air or in vacuum, whereas sound waves basically or pressure waves it's kind of a mechanical energy because it moves the air and in a wave form so without air sound will not propagate in other words we could not hear in vacuum that's one thing that i want you to be aware of energy can be converted from one form to another and uh, you should also try to understand different units of energy what they mean I'm going to provide you with all the conversion factors. You don't have to know any conversion factors or memorize any conversion factors I'm going to provide, but you need to know where to look for and how to use these conversion factors. For example, 210 food calories is equal to how many kilowatt hours or how many joules and so on and so forth. You should be able to convert. And um, the the distinction between energy and power is the most important thing that you have to pay attention to. And there is more explanation in uh, a folder called More Explanations in Unit 1 about this energy and um, power, the difference, energy versus power. Um, you need to be you know, familiar, familiar with that explanation there. Okay, sources of energy, where we are getting our energy from, etc., renewable, non-renewable, the distribution. And most importantly, uh, we need to concentrate on these calculations, power to energy, uh, or calculating how much energy we consume uh, using a certain device for a certain number of hours. There are several practice questions, and my advice to you is, practice those questions. The practice questions you can practice any number of times. Every time you log in, you will see different 
questions or you know there will be some new questions until you do about half a dozen times to about eight or ten times you will not see all the questions that are there in the database so they're pulled from a database so if you are um, if you are a careful um, person I would say you know you should go through at least six or seven times those um, uh, questions to make sure that you cover the breadth that we need energy consumption uh, or calculations you could have one device or you could have like you know three or four devices like we have done in the case of a homework you can have ten devices um, each operating for a certain amount of time and what is the total energy that is consumed and how much you would pay for uh, or if you were to use two different um, appliances with two different ratings what would be the savings and so on and so forth that is the kind of thing that you need to worry about in lesson one I hope uh, this will clear up and if you have any questions please send me those questions or uh, through message board and I will post similar kind of explanations for you um, if possible uh, using this um, video and audio techniques all right